Hello everyone, welcome to the CG Educator. Today we will create this product commercial using Maya. Before we get started, I request all of you who have watched the videos but have not subscribed yet. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Your support inspires me. Let's go to the Maya. First, we will animate the model. So first, select the model and press S on the keyboard to generate a keyframe. Then by going a few frames ahead and press E for selecting the rotation tool and rotate the object. If this option are on in Maya, once the keyframe is set, it will automatically generate the keyframe when the object is moved. I will just correct the valuation here. Okay. Then select the headphone after moving a few frames behind and press W for the move tool. Then press S to set the keyframe. And from here, I make the timeline a little bit bigger. Here move the object slightly upward. Then press E and rotate the model and adjust the model a bit to make it look cool. Okay, the animation looks something like this. We'll go a few frames ahead and move the headphone just a little higher to make the end scene smoother. Now we will smooth the animation a bit. For that, go to Windows, Animation Editor, then Graph Editor, select the object and make it smooth. Now we will create a camera. Then go to the panels and select the camera view. Now we will animate the camera with the same technique. So let's speed up this part a bit. Now we will smooth the camera animation. Let's adjust the model a bit. Okay done. The scene is ready. Now we will set the light. We will do that with environment light and HDRI image. According to the scene, I am setting the light intensity and exposure here. Keep the sample in between 1 to 3. Keep it high will affect the render speed. Switch off the camera value to get the image without any background. We will add the background in After Effect. I generally set the image format in render settings to EXR. Turn on the merge AOVs. Inside the frame animation option, select name hash.ext. The render will be from 0 to 200 frames. Now select the camera which we had to set and select the quality to be 1080. I am setting the valuation according to the scene. You can set the valuation according to your scene and PC capabilities. Let's switch this on so that we can use the GPU power. In the AOVs, we will check the denoise option and will add RGBA. Once the render settings are completed, we are now starting the batch render. Coming to After Effects, we will then import the render images. So first double click on this box. After that move towards the render images and select the first image. Then turn on the sequence option. I will drag the video here and create a new composition. Ok. Then I will press P on the keyboard for the position. And in 3 seconds, I will set a keyframe. And in 4 seconds, I will move the headphone a little sideways. 
then I will select the keys and press F9 which will make the key smooth. I will adjust the key a bit. Now it's better. Okay, now we will add the text and adjust it. If you do not turn off the caps after typing, the After Effects scene does not update automatically and shows such an error. I will double click on this option by pressing Ctrl to make the anchor point in the middle. We will also adjust the text. Ok, now we will animate the text. So first we will go to the text, then go to the animate and select position. Then I will click on the add, go to the properties and select the opacity. Ok, then I will go to the position, move the text a bit downward, go to the opacity and set the opacity to 0 and set the key to both. Then I will go to the range selector and set the key at start. And going a few frames forward, I will set the value to 100 and I will change the character to word. Then I will smooth all the keys by pressing F9. Then go to the graph editor and adjust the graph. I will stretch this handle and keep this handle like this. For that animation will be slow to fast. Slow in the starting and fast forward the end. I will adjust the key a little bit. Then create a mask on the text. Ok, now we'll test the animation. Ok, I will copy the animator of the airbird text layer by pressing Ctrl C. And leaving the cursor at 4 seconds, I will select the above text layer and paste it. adjust this a bit ok now we will create the background right click here go to the new and select solid now i will go to the effects and search for gradient ramp and apply in the black solid layer now i will adjust the above point and also change the color I will change the graph of the text a little. This time the animation will be slow in the beginning, fast in the middle and slow toward the end. Perfect. Thank you for watching the entire video. If you have liked today's video, please hit the like button and do the comment below. Show your support to subscribing my channel. Stay healthy, stay well. See you again in the next tutorial. Until then, bye.